Okay, so this motor is running along right now on a new type of cell, at least new to me. This is a stainless steel cell, and it's an idea I had after seeing what low voltage this motor could run on. You know, this, this motor could run on such incredibly low voltage that I got out some galvanic charts and I started looking and I realized that the potential difference between um, graphite and stainless steel was about 100 millivolts, if I remember correctly. And you can see the motor here running along on that. So <laughs> if you think about it, stainless steel is your sacrificial anode. This thing could last an incredibly long time. I had a hunch this might work when I made up this little motor. And uh, I'm just quite happy with the results. So that's, this is my first test, stainless steel cell. And uh, if you want the update on the oil cells, feel free to take a look at that. But at this point, um, you know, when you compare, even if you compare aluminum to magnesium, you know, aluminum will last much longer than magnesium as your sacrificial anode. And utilizing stainless steel as the sacrificial anode, I just have no idea, folks. This thing could run an incredibly, incredibly long, long time. So anyway, that's where I'm at so far. Um, obviously, I'll want to test some different ideas. I may even try a crystal cell type structure inside here between the stainless steel and the graphite. At this point, I just have water with a little bit of Epsom salt added to the water. But um, very, very encouraging uh, test here for running you know, long-term motor that you could just set in a shelf and run for who knows how long. So this may have to uh, go into competition against my 100-year motor um, if this continues to work like you see here. And uh, let's all keep experimenting.